Okay, so this is a series circuit, so we can't joke around about this. Okay, so my current is going to be just the voltage divided by the resistance, right? But there's many resistors and we gotta add them up. So it's 35 volts divided by, whoosh, let's keep going, let's go around 1.7. Remember, ammeters have zero resistance. But we've got 1.7 plus 3.1 plus 4.5 plus 6.7 and what is that alpha f1 baby 35 on the top and 1.7 plus 3.1 plus 4.5 plus 6.7 did I get them all right that is 2.1875 Right, so you would say that ammeter one is 2.19 amps. This is the same current going through it, right? Remember, remember, uh, electrons are matter, right? So that that matter is traveling through this entire thing. There is one current; it is shuffling along, like ping pong balls being stuffed down a tube, cheek and jowl, right up next to each other. Okay, and 2.19 amps is also traveling down through this ammeter. Okay, and then we can find the voltages, right? So V1 is IR, so that's going to be 2.1875 times 1.7. What is that? 2.1875 times 1.7, that's 3.71875, or about... 3.72 volts across that. It's kind of like these create little blockages, right? Okay, so V2 is IR is 2.1875 times, in this case, 3.1. All right, so that guy times 3.1, this is going to be more. Whoops, syntax error. What did I do? Uh, we'll quit. Okay. Oh, let's try it again. That guy times 3.1. 6 point, this is 6.78125. So I would say it's about 6.78 volts. And then V3 gets tricky, right? So the rule for V3 is you want to start, the current is going this way. Like that, okay? So what you want to do is you want to start on the upstream side and go all the way to the downstream side and add up all the resistors, right? So V3 is the same current, 2.1875. But it's the resistance is more complicated. So it's 4.5 plus the ammeter is zero plus 6.7. So what is that? Let's find that. That guy times left parenthesis 4.5 plus 6.7. I'm getting 24.5 volts. Okay, so then, then, then they ask this, you know, the curveball question, the least power dissipated by a resistor. Well, the least power is either going to be dissipated by the smallest resistor or the largest resistor. But here's the deal, okay? For power, we're going to use, since we know the current in each of these, right? I mean, we, had to, we also know the voltage across every, all of them, except we don't, well, we don't know the specific voltage across this one, right? Okay, so... I propose that we always use I squared R in a series circuit to figure out the power. Now, think about this. If it's I squared times R, and if I is the same for all of these, then the power just simply depends on the resistor. The bigger the resistor, the bigger the power. Or, the smaller the resistor, the smallest, smaller the power. So in this case, it's the 1.7 ohm, right? 
So power is going to be 2.1875 squared times the smallest resistor, which is 1.7. Now clearly if we put 6.7 in there, we get a bigger number, so it couldn't be the least, right? So 2.1875 squared times 1.7 is 8.13 watts. Now, if you ever get stuck on a test, just, you know, if like, like the math isn't making sense to you, just take the largest resistor and the smallest resistor, <clears throat> calculate the power. One's going to be more than the other one. And then just read the question. Yeah, anyway, I think we got it.